Hey James. Hey John. Where are we going today? Today, we're going to go visit Daniel Lopez. And what is Mr. Lopez going to teach us? How or why are we visiting him? He's an a, a master axe store, and we failed on one of our videos. So he's going to teach us how to throw axes. It, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Yeah, so. <laughs> but, uh, looks like we're driving pretty slow. Mm -hmm. Is it? Could it be? Could it be? Traffic. Traffic! <laughs> God, I love California. Oh, and soon we're gonna go visit Daniel. He doesn't know yet, but we brought him a few tools that we'd like to see him try to throw. Ah, Test so out right. his skills, so. Try to make it a little bit challenging for him? Yeah. Before we get there, let's go over the products. Yeah, let's do that. First, we'll start with the Nata 180. The blade length is 180 millimeters. It is suited for fresh wood. With the Genki rubber grip, it absorbs the shock very well. The Nata is a cross between a knife and an ax. It weighs 1.7 pounds. At last, we have the Corona AX71020 Pulaski Root Grubbing Tool. 34 inch solid core fiberglass handle with thick molded poly jacket for maximum strength and long service life. Dampens vibrations from overhead strikes to prevent breakage. Extra sharp axe blade with a steep beveled handle to hold the edge while cutting roots in the soil. Extra sharp triangle shaped mattox blade for excavating alongside and underneath large roots. It weighs 7.2 pounds. And here we are with your name sir? Daniel Lopez. Daniel Lopez. And Daniel saw our video online uh, with us throwing the hatchets at the pumpkins and he actually purchased one of the hatchets himself and sent us a link to it where he essentially put us to shame. So actually Daniel reached out to us and said that if we ever wanted to come down he would uh, teach us a thing or two about throwing so that's why we're here today. Yeah. Want to tell us a little bit about yourself Daniel? Yeah, yeah. I have uh, worked for Bad Axe Throwing. I've been an axe throwing coach for about seven months. I uh, enjoy throwing knives. I'm currently sponsored with Bullseye Blades. Uh, basically, if it's got a point, I'm gonna throw it. So I'm what's called an instinctive thrower. We use, we throw anything from unmarked distances, all different styles. That's really what it's all about. Like I said, if it's got a point, we're gonna stick it in the target. Um, so axes, knives, shurikens, you name it, we're throwing it. So we did come down here too to challenge Daniel with something that we thought was a little bit on the more difficult, harder side. And that is gonna be this bad boy right here. Mm. So later, we'll see if Daniel can kill this. I hope, so. I hope so. I hope so. It's a little obese. So. It is. Look at that. Thing. <laughs> I'm up to the challenge. Sweet. <laughs> so you compete? I you... I compete in axe throwing currently. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I'm still my my first tournament for knife and tomahawk will be in April in Las Vegas. Wow. Okay. So I'm very excited about that. But I am sponsored. Uh, like I said, I do have someone who does uh, make knives for me and whatnot. Um, I do teach. I do. I've done lessons here for mm. some time. The lane evolved quite a bit. <laughs> um, but nowadays, I spend a lot of my time over at Bad Axe doing axe throwing. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, the sport's growing considerably. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen, but it was actually on ESPN. No, not yet. Yeah, so because it was on ESPN, a lot of people are seeing it. It's exciting. I mean, the fact that you want to redeem yourself shows that you had fun doing it, right? Yeah. Um, I so, wish we were better. Oh, you'll get there. I'll get you there today. I promise. For us, should we try to avoid the flick? Yep. For right now, that's the number one thing you're going to want to avoid, is you're going to want to avoid the flick. Okay. You're going to want to keep your wrist locked. Here, let me grab a tool just so you can have the visual. Okay, let's use one of these Bacos. So one of the reasons I love these Bacos, and I'll just kind of explain it to you so you know why I'm hounding you about them. <laughs> well, anytime you've got a hammer pull, I do like it because it gives you that linear force. It just helps drive it in when it hits. Um, this one in particular, because of the flare on the top or bottom, it's designed so that when it hits forward, it's almost like a knife tip it's going to drive. Or if you're under rotated like this, it can still grab. This. Um, there's a couple things you can do to get accustomed to the one-handed throw to make sure that you're not flicking your wrist. Uh -huh. You can drop the axe down to the side, both right-handed. Left-handed. Left-handed. Right All right, so you switch what I say. Okay. <laughs> uh, so for right-handed, I have my left foot forward. Uh -huh. Put the axe out of my side. I draw it all the way up. Again, I don't want to let my wrist flick, letting it drop like this. Okay. If I do this, that's going to already articulate it too much. Uh -huh. So wrist strong, and I'm going to follow that same arc back. 
So if you were just to go like this for a minute, mm -hmm. you see that the weight is gonna pull. You're gonna feel it where you stop it. You're gonna feel it right here where it wants to drop. Okay. This point around eye line is where you wanna let it go with that forward angle. So at the moment you let it go, the rotation has already begun. Okay. So you're gonna line up right about here. Again, let it go down, draw up, forward release, all in one fluid motion, just like that. Something inside of us that just digs throwing axes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just, it's kind of primal. It feels good, yeah, exactly. So that's all right. You got it all the way around. <laughs> um, you, st you stood a little bit too stationary. Too stationary. Yep, if you stand too tall, what happens is you end up almost like a dart, placing it too much with your hand. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, you just want to let your whole body whole go body. with it. Uh -huh. And that'll just help the weight of the tool guide the throw. Oh. Yep. Yep, a little bit better. Also remember that there's not really a straight line in axe throwing. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a bit of an arc. So if you try to throw it straight, it's going to carry it straight down. Got it, so got aim it. a slightly it's higher good. than, yep. Yes. Oh, so close. And then just, ooh. I'm going to try one more time than you try. <laughs> Oh, these axes we just bought you. <laughs> oh, no, that's all right. That's what they're for. You want to try? <laughs> yeah, let your elbow bend. Oh, okay. Yep, you can use your shoulder and your elbow. Yeah, there you go. And release right as the weight starts to take you down, right about eye line. Right there. Oh, yeah, I feel it. Yeah, oh. hey, that almost went into plywood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Nice. What the heck? One of the things that I can already feel that was different was that when we were trying it earlier with the, the jack-o'-lanterns mm -hmm. or the pumpkins, I felt like I was throwing it. This one, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm throwing it, yep. I'm just releasing. Yep, it's getting away from sports tendencies. That is the biggest struggle for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, one, we naturally want to throw things like a baseball, just in general. Even some people's first time throwing darts, they want to throw it like a baseball. Yeah. Um, just like we want to put English on things like discs, we want to flick them or stitching on balls to advance them further. It's getting away from all that and really just, I call it the language of the blade. Uh, I use that hashtag all the time <laughs> because it's very true. You need to understand what the weight is trying to tell you. Yeah. Understand the physics of what you're doing. Ah. Once you feel it, you can easily <laughs> replicate. That's what it's all about yep. is just getting accustomed <laughs> to letting the weight do that work for you. Uh, yeah, it's just that was that's a lot easier. You're gonna you're gonna try, James? Yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna deem myself. I still hit it once yet. Yeah. All right. you okay? <laughs> this is gonna be the one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You just had to believe. You just had to believe. <laughs> so this... Is a crossbow? It is. <laughs> what? But the string on it's kind of shot, so... I, I was actually looking at it, I was like, oh, maybe... I was like, oh, no. Safety first. <laughs> I guess. Even though you see I throw barefoot almost all the time. I didn't notice that. I think you were wearing slippers. <laughs> I like to feel the earth on my feet. No, I 100% I, right, so check this thing out. Now this thing is, when I talked about under or over rotating, this thing is a beast. You hit, this thing's gonna stick. As long as it doesn't hit head first like this, it's going in. So, since you now believe in yourself. <laughs> There's a saying, which I think maybe you guys are really similar. It's a uh, uh, aim small, miss small. Aim small, miss small, yep. yep. <laughs> When I go for accuracy, I hammer golf tees, wooden golf tees. Oh, really? the target. Seriously? Yep. Wow. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Aim small, miss small. Yep. Yeah, I'll try it all. There you go. Um, so this one, if you guys want to try a little bit further back, uh, it does rotate nicely. So if we were about here, boom. Oh, I'd say right here by the back of this little pointer. If you want to try and throw it again, just like you did before, mm -hmm. see if you can get two rotations. Oh, it got it to again. stick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
See, that's what I was talking about. That thing will stick most ways. What? Uh, <laughs> um, I do have a bunch of knives. Did you want to try and throw some of those? Sure. Yes. Yeah. So you see how you went like this? Yeah. You flicked it. So e even though they're lighter, you still want to let the weight do the work for you. Yeah. There you go. It's always better to throw a different target. Oh, oh. <laughs> I did take, uh, this was uh, an axe to the leg though. Oh my God. Yeah, I thought I was slick. I I stepped over, I was like, ha ha, and I just put my foot over when I was coming back. But yeah, this one was firmly planted immediately behind it. Oh. James, let me just get a side view of this so the people can see kind of like the distance that we're throwing. So that's where it is. So you can kind of see from the side, it goes about that far. And we are throwing that far away. So <laughs> kind of see the distance that we're throwing. I'm gonna try like jumps, I'm very slow and smooth. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so you got it by imitating me. <laughs> That's silky nada? Uh, it is. I've always wanted to see one of these in person. <laughs> and now you get to throw one. These are one of the highest reviewed just tools mm -hmm. in general. It's a name that's popped up just in random blogs and whatnot for so long and then... When it comes to like blades, you think of silky. Yeah, they make good saws too, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're the best hand saws. The Japanese? Yep. Yep. Alright. Wow, it's even got a Ford. Yeah. Chop. Right about here, I'd say. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so, this is just goes to show you that the design is definitely important when you comes to throwing things. It, it is. I'm gonna try and throw it straight in there. I'm gonna try and mix it up. Ah. Mm. Ah. Uh. 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 <laughs> Winner, Silky. Surprising. Surprising. <laughs> All right. Corona. Corona. Definitely meant for slashing. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Oh! First try. Right. Nice. Oh, wait. Leave it. Sorry. It's still wobbling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daniel, so we went and brought this here, and we want to see if you could throw it. And I'm up to the challenge. <laughs> Scene's got some weight to it. What are we looking at? Three and a half pound head. Not too bad. So. Oh, boy. If it hits the plywood back way, is that going to be strong enough? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm more worried about the long rotation hitting that. Uh, the top part? The top. So, I'm not sure if that's a little. Let's see. Oh! Definitely professional. It hit. It hit. Yeah. It didn't stick, but it hit. It but you hit. see, if you'll see, I kind of pulled away a little bit because yeah. I was trying so hard not to hit the top part. And again, it stopped me from letting my body momentum continue forward. 
Oh! 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 Oh!